because it's so predictable. It's guaranteed it's going to happen tomorrow, right? Oh, gosh. Okay. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Zapala here. Halen Tier from Dallas, Texas. And my team today wants me to react to financial TikToks. I'm just very curious what uh, they picked out for me to react to. Listen, I made my money after 22 years of being an entrepreneur, ups, downs, up, downs. I've never been an overnight millionaire. I've never been a lucky millionaire. I've never been a lottery millionaire. I've made my money through grinding and actually building an asset, which is a, an insurance agency over my 22 years. That's how I've made my millions. But uh, I'm just curious what these guys have got for me to watch to react to and how people are making their millions today. Well, number one, day in the life of a crypto Millionaire. Okay, very interesting. Let's check this out. Day in the life of a crypto millionaire, net worth 1.2 million. It said net worth. The five different ways to make millions. This is one of them. Let's check this out. Wait, wake at noon? Wake at noon. Come on, man. Wake at noon. Run lift at 3 p.m.? How much I got done by 3 p.m. already? Try not to look at crypto. Eat wilds at 5. So, in other words, he's trying to say he's making money in his sleep. Okay. Okay, cool. So, listen, man. Hey, listen, man. More power to you. If you make your money through crypto, <laughs> knock yourself out. You know, five, five different ways to make millions, right? Number one, you can make money as an employee. You can get a job. You can be an athlete. They can hire you. Draft you in the NFL, NBA. You can make your money being a CEO of a corporation. That's one way to make millions. Number two is making your millions through through sales, high volume sales, a lot of products that need a little margin or big ticket sales. You know, uh, fewer, fewer volume but larger uh, uh, profit margin per transaction. For example, we were just at my uh, mentor's house this past weekend in uh, in Fort Lauderdale. He just bought a twenty five million dollar house. He just bought a multi-million dollar yacht. I'm pretty sure the realtor and the yacht salesman are pretty happy people. That's one way to make a million dollars. The third way to make millions is what we call capital gains. Um, that could potentially be what this is too as well. It might be combination number four, which is net worth. Because at the beginning of this TikTok, it says he's a net worth millionaire. In other words, you are a millionaire on paper. Okay, And the only way to actualize the fact that you're a millionaire and have it in your hands is if you have to sell it. In this case, he's got to sell his crypto, get his millions. Uh, 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 or if you own real estate, you have to refinance it. You know, debt refinance. So sometimes people have uh, equity with inside their business and they refinance the debt in their business and they cash out because now they're able to uh, cash out some of the equity or refinance some of that debt out of their business. They now cash flow some of that money. That's a way to get their money out of being a net worth millionaire. And number five, which is what I am, which is a cash flow millionaire that I built an asset that brings me a million dollars year in, year out. So uh, if this is your thing about being a crypto millionaire, I've always been of the school of you make money during the day and at night you get your sleep, you get your rest. But uh, I uh, don't think it's that easy to be a millionaire in crypto just by falling asleep, eating waffles, working out three o'clock. But uh, if that's you, more power to you. The captions, I had so much fun making this because I'm passionately annoyed. Anyone else? And uh, it's about online ads these days. TikTok by I am Rachel One. Let's check this out. If you give me 30 seconds, I will share with you three simple tips on how to make thousands of dollars with zero capital. Hi, I'm Pauline. For over here By the way, that's the way you start off an ad. That's what they call a hook. So get your attention. If you like what they have to say, you continue to watch the rest of the ad. So great job on creating an ad. Let's continue. Pauline, for over nearly almost 10 years, I have been coaching individuals who struggle with hard work. Tip number one, drop shipping. We source this product from Chinese wholesale websites like Ali Direct and Ali Lala for only $5 and we sell it <laughs> on our website for $300. Now I know what you're thinking. By sharing our source, you think that we're letting our customers know where to get it at a cheaper price instead of from our... Interesting that she just said that, right? Because she basically is making a swoop that they don't show their sources. Many people today online, they tell you how they're making their money, but not the details. So that's one of the things you got to ask. If somebody's coaching me how to make more money, you got to ask the details, unpack it, pop open the hood, because a lot of people don't give uh, you the real ask. For example, I've seen a lot of uh, e-commerce uh, ads. They say, I just made 
millions of dollars in the last six months. Okay. But what's the real question though is what's your take home? So you may have made $8 million in total revenue, but what did you actually take home? Because in order to make that with certain businesses, you got to spend millions of dollars just in advertising to get them to your store, your e-commerce store, just so they can buy something. So you might say I made $8 million in total revenue, but I had to spend 7.5 million in advertising. So you really made a half a million dollars. That's really the questions you need to be asking. So if somebody tells you what they're making, the next question you should be asking them is, how much did you take home? Which, which, of, that, uh, which of that amount did you say you actually keep? Tip two. Tip number two. And three are available on our free two-hour online masterclass. Reach your full potential. I don't need for full <laughs> okay. course. Then that's actually good. So I always believe in investing yourself. I've uh, been through a lot of these uh, self-help classes, paid $99 for classes, $200 for classes, $1,000 for classes. Um, there's nothing wrong with uh, self-development, personal development. I don't think it's bad for you to invest in those things, especially if it's smart money. Listen, how many times you blew money, you know, going to the movies or going shopping or buying things that you don't really need? I'd rather you blow money if you're going to blow money, blow money in personal development, self-development, because at least that way you know what the scam is. At least that way you know what uh, is useful, what is not useful. You can kind of see what the riffraff is. You can see what the actual language is inside the wealth building, wealth uh, creation type uh, category and genre. But uh, very funny here by I Am Rachel Wan. Next one. Hashtag Bill Gates, billionaire, millionaire, get rich quick, money talk, stock talk. Let's check this out. Do you want to know the real reason that Bill Gates is a billionaire? He just got lucky. Why do I say that? When Bill Gates was in the eighth grade, his school got a computer one of the first computers in the continental U.S. by almost a decade. Okay, okay, so, okay, he got lucky, so, so be it. What about the other students in the classroom, though? <laughs> so, so, in other words, what about the other students that Bill Gates was around? How come they didn't get lucky? If this guy's justification for Bill Gates being a billionaire is because a computer happened to miracle itself in his classroom 10 years before... Everybody else got access to the computer. My bigger question is, well, what happened to the other students that was around them? How come they didn't do anything? What about the other 98% of the people that's in the room? What do they do with the information? What are you doing with the information? All the videos that you see on YouTube and online, are you actually doing something about it? Or are you just finding yourself entertained? Let's continue. That's right. Bill Gates had access to a computer 10 years before most people even knew that it existed. Imagine what someone could do with a 10-year head start on anything. So, man, you know, the blame game, victim mentality, self-pity, it's a very dangerous combination of someone's personality. If you want to say, oh, the reason they got lucky and they got this and they got that, listen, so many people, as I just mentioned, so many people have access to the same videos, the same content online, access to certain people to go out there and, and find ways to make six figures and seven figures. The question for you is, what are you doing with the information? Stop blaming situations of other people. As soon as you take personal responsibility and ownership of your current situation, your own crap, and start taking personal responsibility for your freedom and your ability to make money, six figures, seven figures, the faster you'll find a solution, the faster you'll be happier with the next evolution, discovering the next best version of you. What are you willing to become by starting to operate 100% of your capacity? Question of that, you got to answer. So uh, get rich quick, and easy ways to make money, easy ways to make money. Are there easy ways to make money? Oh, let's find out. So I don't usually make videos like this, but you guys have to know about this coin. So two days ago, I bought $100 worth of Safe Moon, and look at what it's at now, <gasps> 382. It's up 91%, and that is just today. It's up 300% since I put it in. Because it's so predictable. It's guaranteed it's going to happen even tomorrow, kidding. right? I probably have $400 like, since the time I screenshotted oh, this. So, so, bottom line, if you want to buy Safe Moon, interact with this video and I'll show you how to buy it because it's a really cool. Okay, interact with this video. Okay, listen, guys, the reason why I say this is because there's so many fake Instagram accounts of me out there that get people to get DMs from that fake account who use my company. My family pictures, using my trips, people thinking that it's me sending them a DM, and they ask them to buy Bitcoin. This reminds me of those DMs. This reminds me of the people getting scammed. And by the way, could this happen in crypto? Could you find, uh, you could go to a Coinbase app and find you a crypto that nobody knows about, and next thing it'll start bump, 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 and start bumping up? Of course it can. Can you find yourself a stock on uh, a TD Ameritrade app or a, a, 
What's that app there? A Robinhood app. You find a stock. Next thing you know, your hundred dollars, your thousand dollars starts growing, growing. Of course you can. That's nothing new. Uh, the question is: is how systematic is it? How predictable is it? Uh, what type of controls and governance and uh, laws and compliance uh, will it have over it? Because you're, you're talking about a hundred bucks here. Would you bet ten thousand dollars on something like this? Would you bet a hundred thousand dollars on something like this? Some of you would because you're trying to get rich quick. Um, and there's nothing wrong with wanting to make money in a short period of time, but when it comes to situations like this, I avoid, I've learned to avoid these type of things. There's something always fishy about these type of ads. I stay away from them. Um, and uh, the moment I find other people making more money at this, temporarily, they have a short-term win. The question is, um, when it does go south, if it does go south, and it does go south, uh, what do you do after that? If it's money that you're willing to put in something like this, it's gotta be money that you're willing to lose. Next TikTok. How to invest, what's that, pound? A thousand dollars as a teen? How many teens out there got a thousand bucks? <laughs> By the way, that's a shot to some adults that don't have a couple hundred bucks to invest in a business and this, this teenager's got a thousand dollars to invest, so let's check this out. I'm gonna show you the best way to invest 1,000 pounds as a teenager in 2021. Okay. So get started, your first 50 pounds, you want to invest in these books. These books on personal finance will teach you- Yes. You want to spend your next two hundred and fifty pounds on a lawnmower? Come on, asset, baby! Like a lawnmower or a pressure washer. So I'm talking about see, exactly what I was talking about. You can control. You can control this. You can control how many lawns you cut, how many neighborhoods you canvas, how many people you can recruit to cut lawns for you. See, money's a mindset. And he said, "Spend your first fifty bucks on books." That's correct because you're learning from the wisdom of authors who've been there, done that. I already like this guy, Mark. Ross, let's continue. Anything that you can use to make money. And finally, you want to spend your last 700 pounds on a certification or a course in a high yeah. income skill yes. that you can use in the future to generate lots of money. For example, of courses yes. that you can take that'll make you a lot of money, okay. check out the link in my Not bag. Not bad. Uh, Mark Ross, salute to you. Um, I've always found that the best investment has always been myself. Self-development course, professional development, leadership development, skill development, skill acquisition. Those are the best investments. And I can I tell you this, there's a video I want you to check out here is how I turned $500 into a 45, actually $50 million company, $55 million company now. But check out this video here of not spending a thousand bucks, but $500. Let's watch the next TikTok. All right, the cycle continues. John E. Finance. All right, here we go. He's 16 years old. Yeah, kid, you crushed the interview. We can start you at $15 an hour. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll take that one. You've got a great resume, so we'd like to hire you starting at $50,000. Thank you, sir. You won't oh, be disappointed. I get it now. Yes, I'll So the more money he's right making, here. the bigger and bigger things that he's buying. I get it. I know you're a great leader. We'd like he's to 40? hire you as our VP. Hi, yes, house. I worked so hard house. for this. Starting house. salary is $150,000. Seriously, thank you so much. Honey, we're finally moving <laughs> into our dream home. <laughs> so he's I'm broke. not sure you're gonna be able to retire at 65. <laughs> you made good money. Where did it all go? It's true. I don't know. I guess I just inflated my lifestyle every true. time I made more money. True. Yeah, guys, one of the hardest things, one of the hardest things to do when you're making more money is not get bigger and bigger eyeballs. Uh, I've learned over time that the more money you make, put the 50, 30, 20 rule in effect for you. So for example, if you get money right away, 20% of it is gone to taxes and tithes. Okay. I mean, yes. Giving, right. Offering, uh, helping a church, a nonprofit, paying your taxes, the other 30% savings and investments, the other 50% you live on. The other 50 percent. I'm not happy with making thousand dollars, two thousand bucks. Great. Now you got to increase your skill set. How do I become more marketable? The people that you have in your life. How can I be of better value today? Because those people that go about life in that attitude, in that mindset, and expectation. Guess what happens to them? They start becoming more marketable. They start getting paid more money. They start being able to be in a position to ask for things with credibility, as they should, because they earn it. But uh, if you go out there, you, you make a dollar, you spend a dollar fifty, you're not going to get anywhere in life. The next thing you know, a lot more financial stress gets poured into your life. Relationships are getting strained. The decision with your children gets strained. People that love and care about get strained, and uh, it's never, never good to have this type of cycle in your life. Another crypto. Let me guess. Get rich quick. Why? Why do all these cryptos? Why do all these crypto guys always talk about getting rich quick? It's, it's, that's, that's the thing that's, that doesn't sell me well with crypto. And I'm not, I haven't even watched this. I don't know what it's going to 
B, I might be wrong, but why does everybody in the crypto space always talk about getting rich quick? I believe in getting rich. I believe I believe in building wealth. But these guys make it sound like it's so easy to do in the next 30 days. And usually it's never that case. Tired of watching everyone get rich off of Bitcoin? You secretly want to join that new group of crypto millionaires. Don't let the world of blockchain intimidate you. Investing in these coins is a lot easier than you might think. I'm going to show you how pretty much anyone can buy Bitcoin. And yes, some of the more popular coins as well. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. First thing you'll okay. do is log on to Coinbase, where after transferring your funds, you'll be able to buy some yeah, of the larger coins, how, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. From there, you can transfer your coins over to Binance USA, regular Binance if you're international. Here's where you'll be able to find and invest in many of the altcoins and smaller yeah, projects good luck with picking massive which one. potential. Good luck out there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Just like anything else, I'm not saying not to go into crypto. All I'm saying is research things, read about things, wrap your mind around things, get confidence with it. Do I, if you can ask me, hey Matt, do you have money in crypto? Of course I do. But it's not nothing that I'm willing to bet my house on or bet my financial future on. Do I have money in there? Sure. I believe in the, the uh, diversity and, and having uh, many different uh, areas of your money, invest in different things. It's a slice of my money that I'm willing to lose. But at the same time, too, I know that I have a foot in the door. All right, let's watch this one. Okay, one day you can wake up to this because you made money in your sleep, right? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the same thing over and over, man. Again, uh, look well into the matter before putting your money anywhere. Okay. Refresh. <laughs> There you go. Uh, by the way, that happened to me after 22 years. So that's true. It could. It just didn't have to be crypto for me. But at least I know how I made my money. So therefore, if 85 million drops down to back to 1 million, you know how to make the other 80, 84 million all over again. Uh, I always believe in control. Call me paranoid, but I love being in a position I can control. Because if I don't control things, I bet my life into this thing. And things go opposite, a whole lot of stress an agony goes that way. But if I can control how to go from 100 bucks to 1,000 bucks to 10,000 bucks, a million bucks to 85 million, and I and I know the odds and I know the systems and I know the process how to get there, even if it goes back to 85 down to 1 million, I have confidence knowing I can always rebuild that that uh, income back up again, even if I use it, lose it. But I don't know if uh, people in the cryptocurrency space would know how to do that. They're just betting that they got the right altcoin uh, investment and uh, they refresh the screen one day and they pick the right one. Who knows? I just don't like being in those type of positions. But hey, to each his own. Why most people are poor? All right, let's check this out. Mark Tilbury. You're hired. Your salary is $20,000. I'll have bottle service to celebrate. <laughs> You're doing great. I'm going to promote you to $50,000 a year. Yeah, I'll take the car. Uh, that monthly payment's uh -huh. nothing to me. You know what? You it. can become my number two for $150,000 a year. I'm rich. I'll take the Lamborghini. Yeah. Unfortunately, sir, you're not able to retire because you've got no savings or investments. I was too busy trying to look cool, so I fell victim to lifestyle inflation. Uh, I'm not sure if it's lifestyle inflation. I think you fell victim to try to impress other people, which is a very dangerous thing. Why do you care about the opinions of other people? Why do you care about trying to get people that don't really care about you, that don't pay your bills? Why try to impress other people? Ma imagine this. Instead of having $35,000 in debt, you've got $35,000 in savings. How would you be? How would you act? How would you have conversations? What type of access to um, meetings and conferences and events would you have access to knowing you got $35,000 in savings? So you got to pick and choose. If you want to be a first generation cash flow millionaire, you know, you got to figure out what people are doing around you. And uh, for most uh, circumstances, you got to go opposite. You got to go opposite how they're thinking, how they're buying, how they're spending. And don't let them talk you out of your game plan. Don't let them talk to you that you got to buy this, you got to buy that, you got to do this. Tell them, okay, if you say I need to buy this, show how it's worked in your life. Or are you just are you just telling me to buy it because you feel better with me buying it because you know you made a wrong with, move with your money, you made a mistake with your money, and you feel better and justified if I go down that same rabbit hole with you. Sorry, I'm not doing it. That was my money. What did you get out of these 
TikToks. What did you think about these people investing in Bitcoin? What do you think about these people when they make more money and spend more money? What do you think about people that say, hey, man, invest in you? I'd love to know your thoughts and comments. Put it in the comment section below. And if you want a part two of my reaction to these financial TikToks or entrepreneurial TikToks, let me know also in the comment section below. I want more reactions to TikToks so uh, you can see from a perspective of your money smart guy on the Seven Fears God YouTube channel how we look upon things like this because just because you see them doesn't mean I don't see it too as well but uh, it's about our perspective and context and how we react to it and how we go about doing it so therefore you don't feel distracted when you are on your journey to becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire so before I let you go please check out these two other reaction videos here billionaires advice to small businesses and also this other video here on Mark Cuban's advice to helping people out with their finances too as well my reaction to that that being said, guys, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Bye-bye.